Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to the Time Bomb channel uh, with myself, the Bombardier. And rather than review a watch today, I wanted to flag up a new release uh, that I've become aware of recently. As a confessed watch nerd, um, I'm signed up to all sorts of updates, and this one came through. And when I saw the photos, I kind of jumped at the chance to have then a look at the press, the full press release. So full disclosure as well, I've got zero connection to the brand um, and I've just gleaned the information that I'm going to share with you here from their website and also from the uh, public press uh, release. So I'm going to be looking at the uh, Tool Watch Company or Tool Watch Co uh, new release and this is the Arctic uh, Explorer. And as you can see from this image, you know, very classy retro piece that to me automatically doubles up as a, an office and weekend watch with ease and it's stated to launch on the website in early November 2021. It's going to come then in three colorways. Uh, so we've got the blue which is described as the signature series. It's quite a positive energy blue with different different shades in within that. The black then is a limited edition at 150 pieces only and comes across as being a lot more somber um, or certainly does in these these images and then the last one was is the white which is the one in ten yes my understanding is the same as yours these are only going to be released in ten ten of these is they're going to be absolute gold dust let's focus then on some of the specs so the first thing that we can see that these are all titanium cases they then measure across uh, 38 mils and that's 46 mils then north to south 11 mils in depth and it's going to sit on 20 mil lugs those measurements to me suggest that they hit a very very key uh, sweet spot for many for many people as a, as a daily wearer all three then as you can see come with these meteorite dials uh, these seem to be incredibly popular at the moment um, I think it's a little bit of a mixed bag. Not everybody's a, a, a big uh, meteorite fan. Um, and I think with a different colorway, each one is going to look slightly different. You've then got a boxed AR coated sapphire up top, fixed smooth flat bezels, 200 meters worth of watery goodness, and super luminova then in this very pleasant soft blue hue. And then the movement uh, inside, according to the uh, press releases, is a Salida SW200. But my OCD, looking at the uh, pictures a little closer, one of the, if that's not the SW200-1, which is that slightly upgraded version of the 200. But heads up, as the rumor mill suggests, that that Salita movement does have known gear issues, specifically if you wind it too much. So please remember then, of course, that these are, as I understand, then just press releases. So there may be changes to that final watch in the future. But considering now is the beginning of October and it's then really set to, to launch in November, they might not change that too much. From that Solita, you're going to get around 38 hours worth of power reserve, which works well if you're going to be using this as a, as a daily wearer. There's no date window on these, which personally I, I absolutely prefer because I think it allows for com a completely uninterrupted dial that's then totally symmetrical. Yeah, my, my, much preferred, but again, personal choice. All three of those watches then are either going to come on a leather strap um, or alternatively, alternatively a scratch resistant coated uh, titanium H-link bracelet, as you can see here. Just from looking at these photos, and again, my, my own personal take on the watch, a few key standouts for me. One of the things I picked up on was the uh, screw down crown. It's not signed, but the thing that I liked about it is it's got sort of those really very wide open flanges. And then the second hand also, uh, the second hand looks really, really, really cool. Um, you know, sort of like that sort of like slight wind, uh, you know, <laughs> drag aspect going on it. I really like it when designers or new designers pick up, pick something kind of unique and not just the bog standard Mercedes and so snowflakes. Nice attention to detail. Um, being perfectly honest though, one thing that I'm not overly keen on, and that is the uh, Salita movement script on the dial. Personally, I think it's a little bit redundant advertising your, your movement on, on the dial, and I'm not sure that it actually brings anything additional to the dial or to the watch. 
as I mentioned before, these are the uh, presser's photos, so there could be changes in the future, the final versions of the watch. Um, I couldn't see any photos of the case back, so not able to tell you if it's an exhibition or if it's uh, you know got some kind of impressed stamp design or anything like that. Um, but I'll pop a link down below to the uh, to the website where you can sign up for notifications. Of course, if this watch is of interest. In conclusion, though, to me. Uh, just to wrap up, the white dialer is the winner. It just fits to me with that polar and arctic references of the range. The colour palette then as well alongside that grey titanium just screams out by me. But <laughs> as it's so limited in production and it's unfortunately priced way, way, way out of my price, my price league, I'm guessing that the bluey is going to be the most popular. And you can see the uh, picking these up on Kickstarter is going to save you an automatic 50% off of retail. So yeah, kind of an interesting option for you there. If I'm able to get any further updates on this one, I'll share them with you. And of course, please do let us know what you think about this, whether you think it's something you might be buying or signing up for notifications on. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And of course, until next time, this is your host, the Bombardier, signing off. Cheers, guys. Thank you.